Hey, welcome back to Chilling with Daquan. Hopefully, you guys are doing great today. So, for today's video, we're going to be talking about Spy X Family and the completed first season, part one and two. I'm going to break this down into three categories that I think that were important to me that I want to talk about the story, the characters, animation, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts and the score at the end as well. So, the story you will be following Twilight also known as Lloyd Forrester. He is going to be the father of this fake family he has to make in order to bring peace to the East and the West. Because currently there's supposed to be a war that's happening and he wants to find out why it's happening and how he can stop it. But in order to do that, he has to make a fake family. So he has to get a fake daughter and a fake wife. So that brings in the next two characters who are very important in this story. You have Aya Forrester, who has the powers to te telepathy, pretty much understand what other people are saying. Telepathic powers, pretty much. And then you have Yor, who is a trained killer. Yeah, you heard me right. She is a trained killer and she's badass. She is <laughs> by far. She's one of my favorite characters in the show behind Anya, of course. But um, yeah, so you're following the story through pretty much the three of them and how they are adjusting to this family life, you know, because you're the only reason why you're is kind of doing this is because she doesn't want to be suspected of being a traitor or an out. I guess you could say an outsider because everyone else is really married. They have kids and she's just kind of single and alone. So. She gets an opportunity to be someone's wife because Lloyd needs a wife in order for Anya to get into this private school to become a scholar. In order to get become a scholar, she has to have good grades and all this and all this and all this other stuff. But as everything happens, there's a lot of stuff that goes on and everything. But that's the only way. That's one way for um Lloyd to find out what's happening because the guy who's the leader of the east I, I can't remember if it was east or west um he has a kid Damien that goes to this uh fancy school so hint comes Anya she has to get into this school in order to get close to Damien so that Lloyd can meet the father and ha have everything happen that way but of course it doesn't happen that way and overall anime does a really good job with the story you know there are side stories here and there and stuff like that but the main story is still the main story of why Lloyd is doing what he's doing you know for the common good you know and there are moments when you're thinking hmm is this still fake is this a real or he's just playing a part because in part two there's a new person that's introduced that kind of raises a lot of questions like hmm does is this a just a gig for Lloyd? i mean it probably is but i'm pretty sure over time he is gonna start catching feelings for you know the family you know anya and your and then eventually it's just not gonna be fake anymore it's just gonna be genuinely real and sometimes it feels that way well it does feel that way like this anime is very wholesome very very wholesome like i swear every episode i feel like you're either laughing you're smiling or between the both honestly so that's enough about the story i want to go ahead and get into the characters there's quite a few characters to talk about we're going to start with lloyd lloyd who is a father of anya or fake father i should say of anya and he plays a part very well very well he's super convincing that this is his daughter like there's a clip that I'll show here so you guys can see this is the moment I knew like yeah he cares about this little girl a lot a lot a lot you know and um he's a he's a great character I think the way they balance it between him being a father and a spy at the same time is done really well like really well you would in in the case with this anime you would have hoped they would not neglect one and the other the aspects of his life right the spy and being a father 
but no they it's a perfect balance you know and i feel like all the characters that in this show they all balance each other out you know anya who's a great character she has her moments of where she uses her powers to read people's minds or hear stuff that people are thinking and then she makes these faces that are amazing they really are really are amazing they did a really good job with that they actually did a really good job converting the manga over to the anime very well um but yeah going into anya's character as well she's probably the best character in the show in my opinion in my opinion anyone's entitled to their own opinion but i think anya is the best character in the show just because i feel like she's more outgoing she's kind of the reason why the family kind of stays together they're like she's kind of the glue to the family you know and then she's a comic relief character there too so you know you're always laughing at what she's saying or what she's doing you know and i'll show you a clip of probably my opinion one of our funniest moments up here as well so you can see what i'm saying i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to put the audio or not but we'll, we'll see um the next character i want to talk about is your as well she's very good as well i think the way the anime handled her too with her double life was really good um there was actually an episode where she was trying to learn how to uh do something for the family and they were kind of getting worried that it was something else i thought i'm like damn is she doing her assassin stuff on the side you know and once you couldn't find out what it was you're like oh i see i see okay okay makes makes sense makes sense um <clears throat> and then all the um side characters that they have uh, people from the agency and stuff like uh frankie um that's pretty much his lloyd's go-to it's kind of almost you can kind of say kind of like his second handler not his main handler but it's someone he uses a lot and it's kind of there for him and stuff like that um but i don't um then there's another character that gets introduced later on but i don't know if i should talk about it i don't know if i don't want to spoil anything for anyone uh, but there is a new character that gets introduced in part two that was really interesting um i'm not gonna say he or she or anything like that i don't want to give it away but i will say it was a very good a few episodes that um they had with that character in the anime i enjoyed him a lot and the way it ended was pretty pretty goddamn good i'm not gonna lie it was pretty goddamn good so i know season two will be really good as well and then i want to go ahead and get into the animation um <clears throat> the animation was good i mean there's nothing bad i can really say about the animation they did very well i mean when i was reading the manga i was like man i wonder how they're gonna animate some of this stuff especially with anya's faces you know i will say they do the anya faces good in the anime but in the manga it just hits different it just hits it hits entirely different i don't know what it is but it does but it's not like it's bad in the anime it's not it's good but it's just i don't know in the manga it just looks a little bit different you know um but all the other stuff they had animated was good like the fight scenes were animated good um what else like i said anya's faces were animated good everything was animated very well like nothing felt bad you know nothing felt like oh that was animated poorly that doesn't look that good no everything was animated good uh, even the city looks freaking fabulous looks really good like the textures on the buildings and uh, it, everything in the anime it just looks good it looks really good the studio did a great 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 job with it um think that's it for animation honestly there's nothing much i can all say about it um they did they they put their foot in it they really did they really did uh my final thoughts and the score i would give this um my final thoughts is this anime is fantastic it's it's super wholesome it's you 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 never have a dull moment with this anime it's like every episode either you're laughing or you're smiling or you're doing the mixture of them both it just feels it's like one of those good slice of life anime you know and there's a lot of good anime out there but something about 
spy family just it's hard to put words to describe how good this anime makes you feel you just honestly genuinely feel happy watching this anime you know and if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't seen it what are you doing go watch this anime right now okay i just it's just a really good anime like i can see myself re-watching this anime like say i had a bad day, i can just watch this anime and laugh and genuinely laugh and forget about all my problems like literally it's one of those animes that just makes you feel good you know and we need a lot more animes like that you know that makes you genuinely just feel good you know and um i mean with all that being said i want to know what you guys think i'm gonna give this anime drop it in the comments all right drop it in the comment section i would like to see what you guys think but i also want to hear what you guys think as well have you seen spy family do you plan on watching spy family and if you have watched spy family what would you rate it you know i giving this anime a final score drum roll please a 10 out of 10 wholesome anime of the year you know I mean, I don't give 10s out of 10s to a lot of animes out there. Oh, there are some animes that are 10s out of 10s. But this anime to me, in my opinion, is a 10 out of 10. I, I love this anime a lot. I love it a lot. I've been reading the manga as well. So I already had my opinion about this anime from the get-go. And um, I enjoyed it a lot. A lot. So I would love to know what you guys think. Do you like this anime? Do you like Slice of Life? Is this something right up your alley? If you've seen it, haven't seen it, let me know in the comment section. But anyway, have a great and amazing day. And as always, say it with me now. Stay amazing. Peace. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, you can check out my other videos linked here. And as always, stay amazing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.